Our federal government is about to sink $6 billion into a nuclear and plutonium research lab in Los Alamos. Critics are concerned about its cost as well as the potential for wildfires and earthquakes. Dr. Michael Gamble, a former staff member of the physics division of the Los Alamos lab, is joining us now on set with his thoughts on this topic. Good to have you on the show and welcome. Angie, I'm so pleased to be here. Thank you. How close are we to this new lab happening? I think the new lab is imminent, Angie. Do you think the money will actually come from Capitol Hill? I know people who live in the area, some of them are very concerned. They're calling it a bomb factory. I'm confident they're going to get the money because since the closing of Rocky Flats in Colorado, which was part of the nuclear complex, Los Alamos National Laboratory has taken over the stockpile or the nuclear weapons stockpile stewardship role for the country. Why and do we need this? because our nuclear arsenal is aging and it turns out that the most critical components the pits or the cores that function as triggers for the devices are radioactive and that means that they're constantly transmutating and they're constantly degrading so and that's where the plutonium comes in those cores are made from plutonium but generally. did the president of the united states as well as the president of russia just last year sign a treaty to say that they were going to back off on nuclear weapons angie it's a little bit of a shame that we're the only that is we the united states of america is the only superpower that is incapable of making a new nuclear weapon all we can do at this point is maintain the stockpile of weapons we have and depend on them and we must be absolutely certain that in the event that they're, need, they're needed, that they'll function as designed. I, I'm delighted that the concept of mutual assured destruction has maintained peace in the world for longer than any other time in modern history. And I hope that that goes forward. If you take just a minute and consider the Fukushima nuclear accident from earlier this year, and you look at the total integrated cost from that accident. It could be upwards of $1 trillion. When you look at a $5 billion facility that has been upgraded by $1 billion to ensure its safety and security, it's a bargain, Angie. So you think going ahead and spending the money to refurbish the plant is a positive, even though it's built in an area which could be prone to earthquakes? It is built in an area which is indeed prone to earthquakes. Even so, the foundation designs, now that the nuclear complex of the chemis chemistry and metallurgical research re renew center has been upgraded to withstand a magnitude 7.3 earthquake. So we're fine unless the 8.0 hits. Oh, uh, the, the <laughs> maximum probable earthquake for that region is about five and a half, I think. But you never know. No, you don't. You can't be absolutely certain. Dr. Michael Gamble, you're definitely an expert in the field on this one. You're also an author of a book uh, called Zero Scape. Zero Scape, with a Z, yes. With a Z. It, it turns out Zero Scape, uh, the plot unfolds on the very mesa where the plutonium facility at Los Alamos National Laboratory is located. And uh, I'm delighted to say that for the holidays, Zero Scape is now an e-book. Thank you very much for your time today, Dr. Michael Gamble. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Angie.